are you guys? Are you guys? So here we are in the frozen tundra of Wisconsin. That right there is a deer shoulder. And I'm gonna show you guys how to cook it up. Hey, buddy. Come on, Mar. All right. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, Mar, what do you have to do? T-Burst, he's like, well, I smell deer meat. It's almost Thanksgiving, and I know a lot of you guys are out deer hunting right now. If you're not out deer hunting and you don't deer hunt, this is what you could do if you were. That's a shoulder, and deer shoulders are probably the most abused piece of meat on an entire deer. So many people, you know, just honestly cut the shoulders off and don't even use them, or they grind them up. But I'm gonna show you how to braise or roast this shoulder, and it's gonna make you the hit of your next dinner party. Very, very easy, very, very fun, and it's gonna taste absolutely amazing it's gonna be absolutely so tender. First thing I'm gonna do, I've got the grill outside. It's already on. I want it to get as hot as I can possibly get. I want it real, real hot. I like this awesome flavor of this Everglades cactus dust. I'm gonna season it up real nice. I wanna get a lot of season. Actually, I'm gonna put this rascal right back here, right back in the pot where it was. Get it seasoned up. As you can see now, I've got it nice and seasoned all the way around. Beautiful. I'm gonna use about one and a half boxes of this Swanson cooking stock. Regular beef stock. Okay, now, kick that up a notch. I've got a lot of, of herbs. There's sage, thyme, basil. In here I've got some more sage, basil, rosemary, mordorum. Just a bunch of nice fresh herbs. And I'm going to throw that in there. Now, the main reason that I want to get this boiling is I once I put once I get the the shoulder hot on the grill. I don't want to add cold fluid to a hot shoulder. It's going to drop the temperature and it's going to throw everything off. So we'll get this boiling real quick. That rascal's nice and hot. Most people don't grill in the snow, but I ain't most people. I want it all to just get some of that grill heat. I'll do like five minutes on each side. So now I'm gonna Take wash it. this. Good job. This is peppered bacon. Peppered bacon. You absolutely do not have to do this, but I'm trying to keep the temperature up on everything. This is the pan that we're going to be braising our, our deer meat for dinner shoulder in. So I'm just gonna put some pepper bacon in the bottom of the pan. And then I'm gonna heat the pan up in the oven. I want everything to be hot. I don't want it, I don't wanna have to bring the temperatures up on anything. Can you use normal bacon? You could use normal bacon. But I, I just, I like want, I want this dish to have so much flavor. I want every bite to be like, oh man, so good. So take this, put that in there. Smell that. Oh, smell all the. Uh, Ooh, it smells good. I know it smells so good. Beef stock and all that fresh herb, good stuff. Just what the doctor ordered. 
It just has that nice grill taste, grill flavor. The heat from the grill is searing the outside of it. Remy is addicted to playing with that ball. Get it, Mar! You get it! You get it, Mar! Yeah! Oh, you go get it! Yeah! It's so cool, the dogs love the snow. Stay, stay. Oh! Smell the sizzle. Smell the sizzle? Yeah, you can smell the sizzle. Look at that. That's exactly what I was looking for. See all that nice char grilled love? Now it's not cooked even anywhere near through and through, but. Come on, Mark. Mark, come on. Now we're gonna let the cooking begin. I'll tell Come on, Mark. Okay, so, get this out. Oven set at 300. We've got all that peppered bacon, it's in there. Take this, set it. These are tongs. Set it in there just like that, perfect. Now, here's our stock with all that lovely there put those herbs right in there just like that <coughs> yummy yummy in my tummy I'm gonna put some of this fresh garlic right around the edges put a little bit of onion in here just like that Do you want to spread the herbs out a little bit, or does it not matter? No, I want the herbs all over in that corner. Just like that. Close that. Now this is going to go back in the oven for two hours. Leave it covered. Set our timer. Good. So we've got that in there. It's 300 degrees. We're gonna leave it covered for two hours. At two hours, I'm gonna add the mushrooms, the baby carrots, and these yellow potatoes. And the yellow potatoes I have cut in half. All right, you guys, The um, Sarah's actually out shopping with her mom. Mr. Keith's holding the camera. And we've had our first two hours in the oven. Ah, this is gonna look so good. You can smell it all over the house. Look at this. Look at that. The meat, you can already see the meat coming off the bone. Look at that, look how nice and tender it is. It's just coming apart. See the meat? All that flavor, the herbs, the onion. Now we're gonna start adding. We've got some potatoes. Add some potatoes in there. Those are some Yukon baby gold potatoes. And then we're gonna add some baby carrots. Throw them in there. Then we're gonna add some mushrooms. Are you kidding me? I just want, I want this all to just. Now, the reason, the reason that I did not put all this in there from the beginning is because it would just cook down, it would be, it would just be mush. So now we've got all these flavors coming together and when we're done, this will be like a huge pot roast that, that has all the food groups. Cover this up, and set it back in the oven. Oh. Enough food here to feed an army. 
set this thing for one more hour. One more hour and we're good. Now I'm telling you, that's a deer shoulder. Probably the most underutilized piece of meat on any deer in the whole world. I'm telling you guys, when we're done with this, you'll never throw away another shoulder. All right, so everybody is back home and our food has been in here for one more hour. Oh, that smells good. Oh. All right, let's see what we got. Da -da -da -da. Oh my gosh, mom, come look at this. Look at that. Ooh. Hold on, here, just hold the camera still so I can look at this. Oh, you're, I'm, I'll you're give you a bite. little hog. Look at the meat. Oh look at this. Falls right off the bone. Mom, show, show my mom. Wait. Oh, honey. Mom! Wow. Yeah, I reckon it's tender. Wow. That's called fall off the bone tender. Now, for all you archery hunters out there, that's that shoulder blade that if you hit it, you better uh, you better hope and pray because you're probably not gonna shoot through it. And if you hit that with an elk, Lyman 2323, good old Mutsunides, I'm imagining you hit somewhere right around there on that big old bull. He probably just pulled the old arrow out, threw it away and was like, hmm, thanks but no thanks. All right, look at that, just, I mean, just literally fall off the bone. I mean, it, this is so tender, it's absolutely no problem. You could just pull it off with the, with the fork. Now, all you guys out there that kill deer and you just grind the, the shoulders up, do yourself a favor and try this recipe. I mean, look at that. You're talking. Easy, fun, flavorful, awesome, good, good, good stuff. In here? Can you give me a lot of carrots? Yes, I can get you a lot of carrots and mushrooms. Two more carrots? Yes. Ooh, yeah. How about three? This is a lot like a pot roast. Just got a ton of, just look at all that love. I mean, you could feed a an army with this. <laughs> Remy says she's in the army. <laughs> Remy, Remy. There we go. All right, dear Lord, thank you so much for this day, for this food, for all our many blessings, Lord. I pray that you just keep us safe and uh, forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. He is grumpy. He's all right. There's Mr. Moore. He's down there just hanging out. There's Remy Demers. There's Remy. There's Tebow. What you doing, bud? Oh, yeah. They're all online waiting for the bones that came out of that deer. Thank you. Oh, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> What time is that? <laughs> Couldn't you pull us apart like pulled, pulled venison or something? I mean, if you'd have told me this is venison, I probably would have said, no, it's beef. Like, couldn't you it pull it? like a tender beef roast. But couldn't you pull it apart? Like, yeah, pulled like pork? You could shred it and you could actually make like sandwiches. Sandwiches with this. You could do tacos out of this that would be you off know, the you, chisel. I mean, this is like, yeah, you can have a meal like this, but then think, even have this meal, but then with leftovers, you could make sandwiches, you could make yeah. wraps, so tacos, yeah. anything. Because yeah. it pulls apart just yeah. like, like, it's like shredded where you could make really good like, sandwiches with you it. You could just pull it apart and make mm -hmm. sandwiches. Yep. You can add whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at all that. It's like pulled pork. It doesn't even taste um, wild or game, game or anything. Mm -mm. Can't even tell. Wish mm -mm. Dad was here. Yeah. I know. I know. Well, all right, you guys, here's a scoop. Next time you kill a deer, just pull them crosshairs back just a little bit, shoot them behind the shoulder, don't wreck them shoulders. When you get them out, throw them on the grill, then toss them in the oven for a couple hours, add you some vegetables, and you're gonna have yourself a meal 
that you never ever forget. This is something that's really easy. You can do at deer camp, you can do around the house. This would be an awesome meal, like watching Sunday football. You could throw one of these in the oven. Everybody's gonna have a ton of food. And you know what, that's what it's all about. Taking those awesome memories that we made out in the field when Sarah got to kill this deer, bring it back, have an awesome food here at the table. And um, again, this is deer meat for dinner. Thank you all so much for being a part of it. And uh, we love you all and we really appreciate you. Please give us a thumbs up on the video, leave a little comment, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Subscribe now. Wow.